Hello students, welcome to mobile photography level two. And this is where you're going to build upon those skills you learned in level one about composition, the rule of thirds, how to tap to focus, all those things. And now we're going to use them in the classroom. If you're doing this at home, you'd use them around your home. But what essentially you're gonna do is you're gonna take 10 photos. It might take you 30 photos, but you're gonna have 10 good photos that are going to perfectly demonstrate all your level one skills. And then you're gonna take them into an app called Snapseed. There's millions of apps that will edit photos, but you're gonna go into Snapseed and you're gonna crop it, you're gonna put filters on it, you're gonna clean it up, you're gonna make it look good. You're gonna make it look so good I can hang it on the wall as a piece of art, okay? So that's what we're doing for level two. Again, this should probably take you two or three, maybe even four class periods to do because you have to go around and get the shots and then you have to spend the time on each shot editing them. So again, it might take you 30 or 40 shots to come up with the 10 good shots you need to turn in this project. Okay. So I expect to see either cool things from around your house or cool things around the classroom. Always remember to get people's permission before you take their photo to say, Hey, I'd really like to take a picture of your hands drawing on the iPad or your face as you are surprised by something you see in augmented reality. Get their permission because that's just the cool thing to do. And that's how we like to do it. Um, a couple of things I wanted to tell you. Let's see, let me grab my iPad. I forgot to talk about this in level one, and that is we never use uh, the digital zoom in a, uh, on, on the phone here. Okay, here's the tablet. There we go. Uh, the digital zoom is like over here, this guy right here. Uh, we, we never use that, okay, because it's digital. If you have a, a, a phone that has multiple lenses on it here there they are there they are multiple lenses then yeah you can switch between lenses but never use digital you can crop in later which is kind of like zooming but don't there's no such thing as a good digital zoom okay only in like a rare circumstance do you ever use it i maybe use it twice a year okay and i take 10,000 photos a year so never use digital zoom unless it's an absolute emergency uh later on you can always go ahead and crop your photos so Chop, chop. I can't wait to see what you do.